This conference has been a huge success for both Interpol and the Supreme Committee for Delivery and Legacy. It's brought together stakeholders from law enforcement, from public safety authorities and from the private sector, and also event owners from all corners of the globe to discuss the contemporary challenges related to security and policing for major events. It's been a, a, a very interesting uh, look at really the full event planning life cycle, going from the strategic level, uh, identifying current threats and issues associated with protecting the world's biggest events, now getting into some of the more specific uh, operational and practical information about how countries have uh, used uh, contemporary approaches to policing and security to protect major events. We're hearing from those who've hosted the most recent major events, the likes of uh, Brazil and, and their experiences, which is actually unique, hosting the World Cup in 2014 and then the Summer Olympic Games in Rio in 2016. We've heard from Euro 2016, their former head of safety and security, about the significant challenges, threats and uh, issues that they had to address during that event. Uh, we've heard from colleagues from Australia uh, about their preparations for the Commonwealth Games in 2018 and we're looking forward to hearing from uh, Russia and their preparations for the World Cup in, in 2018. So uh, we, we really are drawing on the contemporary knowledge associated with major sporting event and major event policing and security.